Good evening and welcome to the January 19th legislative session. I'd like to call this meeting to order. Uh, would you please rise and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Uh, would the town clerk please call the roll? Cinti. Here. Dra. Here. Call. Here. Uh, Lee. Here. Akadu. Here. Okay. All right. I know we have a public hearing scheduled as our second item on the agenda, but I'm hoping that you'll indulge us to uh, present a certificate of recognition for Andrew Ludwig first before we move on to the public hearing. Um, and this is a very brief presentation, but, and then we can. Um, if Andrew needs to get back home or something like that, he can leave right after. You're always welcome to stay for a meeting. It's, it's scintillating. Um, <laughs> so you're welcome to stay if you'd like. Um, but if that's okay, we'll just move that right up to the top. Great, okay. So I would like to present a certificate of recognition to Andrew Ludwig. Um, he was just designated all Greater Rochester Boys Volleyball Player for the year 19, for the year 2021. And this certificate of recognition reads, we celebrate your athletic achievement as a member of the Penfield Boys Varsity Volleyball Team. Your outstanding performance throughout the season and postseason is an inspiration to all youth athletes. We count you among Penfield's finest citizens, and we wish you the very best in your college career and all future endeavors. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. These last few years in the Penfield volleyball program, it all started uh, with my coach, um, who was actually my elementary uh, volleyball, or my elementary gym teacher, and he turned into my volleyball coach over the years. Um, he introduced me to the game. Um, ever and ever since elementary school, I knew like far in the future I wanted to be a varsity volleyball player for him. So uh, through the years, um, worked hard to get there and it was just a great experience. Um, past two years on varsity, winning sectionals twice, winning a state championship. And uh, I'm just very appreciative of all the great success and uh, great opportunities that this program has given me. Awesome. Terrific. Well, now tell me about your plans after high school. Um, I'm planning on going into engineering and playing volleyball in college. Um, not quite sure on the college yet, but those are my plans after high school. That's terrific. So do you mind if I'm just going to come around and present yeah, you this great. certificate? And I'm going to pass this down to the town clerk to be entered into the minutes. Okay. Um, now back to our regularly scheduled agenda. We do usually start with a public hearing, and we do have one this evening. Um, would the town clerk please read the notice? To allow a restaurant with outdoor dining at 1776, 1778 Penfield Road, located in the Four Corners Zoning District, the legal notice was published in the Webster Herald on December 30th, 2021, posted on the town's website and town clerk bulletin board. 22 postcards were mailed. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Mr. Horwitz, is this properly before the board? Yes, it is. Okay, and Ms. Ivers, would you be willing to give an introduction to the application? The applicants can come up to the podium, to the desk. If you feel comfortable, you're welcome to remove your mask if it's easier for you. you. It's to your level of comfort. 
Okay. Um, Go right ahead. Sure thing. So tonight's public hearing is to, related to a conditional use permit associated with a new restaurant operation at this location. Um, this uh, particular site has been a restaurant in prior years, so this is just a new um, uh, new group with a new restaurant and different food offerings. And so any use or change of use or change of operator in this vicinity, this is located in the Four Corners District, requires a conditional use permit and a public hearing with the town board. Great, and this is 1776, 1778. This is the uh, property on the corner of Liberty and and Penfield Road. Correct. Um, it was formerly Bistro 1778. Correct. Correct. Just to give the public an idea of where, where this is located. And the other thing too is it's naming two addresses. The building is primarily on, is on 1778, but a portion of the parking lot is located on 1776, which is why both parcel IDs and addresses are noted in the public notice and in the, um, the resolution that called the public hearing. Thank you for the, thank you for the background. Well, you're m most welcome to um, talk about your restaurant and the plans you have for it, and then um, the board will a a ask any questions they have and we'll open it up to the public for comment. Great. Well, my name is Gareth Taylor. Uh, I've been operating Guacamole Taqueria in East Rochester for the last uh, five years and a half. Um, we have grown our location in East Rochester. I've been looking for a better location not too, f not too far from where we are so we can keep our, our base and um, offer the outside seating that we've been wanting to offer to our customers for the last few years. Um, I've also been wanting to add um, margaritas to my menu. I previously had margaritas, but they were in bottle, and so with the bar uh, here in 7078 available, um, we're gonna be able to offer our food plus cocktails and margaritas made fresh, uh, outside seating. Um, we are planning right now to do uh, e only evenings uh, because of COVID. Uh, eventually we're looking forward to do more hours and lunch. Um, I'm planning to hire between 10 and 13 people. Um, Sean Peters is gonna be my general manager. Uh, Sean and I have worked together um, or known each other from 2008, worked in a Mexican restaurant prior to to this adventure. Uh, so I'm excited to have him. Um, I'll be offering traditional Mexican food, um, focused on tacos, but doesn't limit to other Mexican flavors. Um, and options like bowls, burritos, quesadillas, nachos, uh, fish tacos, ceviche, um, among other specials that I'll be offering. Um, I'm originally from Mexico City. Um, my wife, Megan, is uh, here, um, is from Rochester, and I've been here since uh, 2004. And so um, I've been in the restaurant business for about 20 years or so. And um, yeah, I've been uh, a restaurateur, a restaurant, in the restaurant business for all those years. Um, I'm requesting for your support uh, on the signs and I'll be willing to follow the rules that are required and um, I'm open to suggestions or whatever the town needs. Um, I understand that there's rules and all this kind of stuff so we'll follow those as required. Um, I am also do have a food truck on my business uh, that could be used for uh, caterings outside of the, of the restaurant, uh, which are private or festivals. And I wanted to ask if um, the business um, has the opportunity to use a food truck for lunch uh, on certain days, if it's possible or not. Um, it was just a question. And what are the requirements? Uh, we also have the kitchen obviously in there and the restaurant, the food truck is inspected and has everything that is required by the f uh, health department. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free. Okay, um, but does the, do the board members have any questions? Yeah, um, do you, are you looking at having entertainment at all? Entertainment, no. Um, maybe in the, out, I mean, let me take that back. I will consider that as time goes on the outside, I probably will have um, music, but 
some music outside if, <laughs> if it's available, um, but no, no bands or anything like that. More just easy listening, uh, happy music. Are you going to do any remodeling inside? Just so what is needed to make it a Mexican uh, theme uh, restaurant. Um, so just liven it up, but no remodelations now. Are you doing anything with the upstairs? Upstairs, um, I'm gonna put my office upstairs. Your, your office? Yes, there's no, there's an opportunity to lease the, the, the apartments, but right. um, for now, just the office, if it really requires to, to open it up for special um, uh, dining or more dining, I'll visit that when, when we get there, but right now it's just an office and then an empty room uh, for storage or whatever. So you're asking about a food truck for lunch. I mean, that's almost like another application. I mean, it's, uh, why wouldn't you just open up the restaurant and have lunch? If uh, mostly because of COVID, um, because of uh, the inside and limiting and um, the opportunity to be able to use just, just because of the situation we are dealing with. Um, it's easy, quick. You know, people don't have to come in if we get closed down or something like that happens. It will be help us a lot to still offer what I, the food that we have um, in a pick up and go situation. Um, so it's more just thinking ahead of hopefully we go forward and, but it's just an option for the restaurant to have um, in this world of COVID. Day. Now you're renting, right? You don't own the building. Right. Right. So. Have you talked to your landlord about something of that nature? Uh, no, I have not, but uh, Sam has been supportive and I'll be happy to mention it to him. Um, I mean, they did mention when I leased that they used to do a bake there with music and stuff like that and yeah. events. Something I can eventually talk, we talk about and you know, it's a different, uh, you know, outside party that they used to do there um, that I'm aware that, that was mentioned, but I'm not heading there yet until I can get open and stuff like that. I guess my last question right now, I'll let everybody else go, but is, um, do you have a, a, a rendering of your sign? Do you, did we get that? I don't remember seeing one. We don't have it. You haven't made one? We don't. Or? So what's gonna happen is this, is, this is for the conditional use permit only. I don't believe you've submitted a sign rendering for the permanent signage to, to the town yet, correct? I have not. So I'm that would likely come back to the board. Um, it would go to the Historic Preservation Board for their comment and review on any signage. And then at a, the, once the conditional use permit is granted, then we can always revisit the signage um, as a separate um, conversation. This is true. I mean, often they've had it already. Together, yeah, I think right. this is one where the business is trying to be open first and then. Right. So um, the sign, is, this, is that the same form that was filled earlier? So it's a, that's the building. So um, the temporary signage permit is what you've yep. approached the building department for, and that's the coming soon sign. Right. Permanent signage is also subject to the town board's approval. Okay. Um, and also needs to, to be visited with the Historic Preservation Board. Okay. Because it, uh, Four Corners is a historic district. Okay. So we can walk you through that process for the permanent signage approval. The temporary signage doesn't um, need to visit between the, for the, come in front of the town board. Okay. Permanent signage would though. Sure. I am actually gonna use the same, the same signs. Same post. That they had there. They're just gonna be on with guacamole. Um, uh, tacos and margaritas, and that is literally, I was just waiting on finalizing the logo, but the measurements and all that kind of stuff is pretty much the same. Um, same, same, um, same stuff that's there. The only thing I would offer is in, often with the conditional use permits, um, at least the ones I've been looking at historically, since I've only been here for less than a month, is um, the one of the conditions on the conditional use permit can be the fact that signage has to come back to the town board for approval. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. I think, Candace, you had a question? No, it was answered. Okay, great. And Deb? So I had a question. When are you attempting to open or? Uh, once we, uh, Mar hopefully March. In March, okay. March. Um, 
as, as long as we can get all the permits, health department, and the restaurant ready, yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna plan mm -hmm. for March. I just want to make sure I'm ready with my staff and what mm -hmm. I need. So, can I just ask you a question about that food truck? So, I know you said you have it now. Are you using that in your other location uh, for lunches now? No, not currently. Now, through the season, the winter, the, the food truck is. Uh, I don't use it. Okay. Um, only seasonal. So you'll inquire with the, um, your landlord about yeah. having a uh, that on them. Is it a large? Uh, is it big uh, um, truck? It's, it's, it's a, a big yellow truck. truck. Yeah, I've seen um, it. It's I've seen it. It's, yeah. a, it's a standard truck. Yeah. Yes, okay. it's standard truck yeah. for sure. Yeah, it's actually right now in the four corners getting tires changed. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. It's been there for a bit. So I have a question for for Carrie. I think do we need to? Is this a separate application to have the food truck and the four corners? So this changes the application a little bit, and right. I would be, uh, so a couple of things. Um, tonight's just a public hearing, mm -hmm. so that information's been presented to the board. Um, what we could do is um, ask, we would need a couple of things from the applicant. We would need proof of permission from the property owner that that you know, storage or use of the truck on site is okay with the person who owns the property. And then I think we would need some more information about the truck itself, its dimensions, and then a plan for how and where it might be kept on site mm -hmm. when it's being used, if it's being used on the property. Um, and then we can provide that information as soon as possible to at one of the work upcoming work sessions. And then at that point, you can determine whether or not it needs to be subject to a separate public hearing. Um, this, if it's part part and parcel of the uh, restaurant's operation, yeah. and it's sort of an amended, oh, we forgot to include this detail, um, which happens. Businesses aren't always sure what needs to be addressed or included in application materials or not, um, because it's part of the business. And then certainly our um, esteemed attorney can certainly let us know if that's accurate or not. I think this is if it, if the truck is related to the business. It might not be um, inappropriate for it to be considered um, after the public hearing has closed and at, in the town board's next review of the application or the continuation of the review of the application. Well, it sounds like it, it would not be a, an urgent and immediate need uh, to be approved right away before March. Uh, you'd like to use it seasonally in any, in any respect. So give us time to analyze it, um, to see how big, how large, where, affecting parking, other requirements. Sure, and we want to have uh, whether uh, it's such a substantial change. We need another public hearing. We'd have to see uh, the ultimate uh, mm -hmm. paperwork. Right, and I'd also like to inquire with the inquire with the Historic Preservation Board. That might in, have an impact on their. Um, they might have a. They might have some thoughts about that as well. Sure. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, any other, yes, Deb. Oh, I just had one other question too. As far as I know, you mentioned you wanted to lighten up inside uh, the building. Did, did you say that lighten up is? Uh, light, yeah, just live it light. You know, live, live. That's why I thought a little light, more light. And are you th anticipating having to do any extra lighting outside that building? Extra light, um, maybe, uh, but no, not that, you know, uh, for the plants and for the building to just stand out, but not um, more for the building to stand out and not, um, well, the, light, the, the signs have lights too, but uh, they're not, no, no, I mean, other than uh, for Nothing the Nothing more than you, that is probably existing on the building right now is what you're right. saying, probably, okay. And if you were to, in, interested in that, would you would talk to? Um, yeah, area. so if there's any changes to the site configuration or site amenities, lighting would be one of them. Okay. You need to check with us first mm -hmm. because there's a good chance that the town board would need to revisit the site plan okay. for the site because lighting, exterior lighting, is one of the uh, sort of fundamental things that uh, boards look at when they're sure. considering a site plan. Right. Yeah, okay. I'll okay. Yeah, I mean, it definitely won't, if it makes the building look better or yeah. uh, I consider... This is more for the, for the trees and stuff like that. Did I understand correctly that perhaps initially you would start with dinners and yeah. then hopefully expand for lunches and dinners as COVID may relax or business requirements yes, uh, are, uh, would be uh, favorable to do that. Um, do you have any hours of operation uh, in mind for what the 
dinner hours would be and uh, lunch hours and that kind of thing? Yes, I do. Uh, dinners will be uh, on the weekdays from about 4 p.m. to 9 to, to 9 to 10. Mm -hmm. uh, summer hours will be 4 to about 10, keeping the bar maybe open till 10 and then the kitchen closing a little earlier maybe, uh, depending on I'm going to try to open as much as I can, uh, mm -hmm. but I'm not trying to keep the bar open way too late. Uh, knowing the, the area, I'm, you know, by 10 o'clock. Um, yeah, yeah. everything field. It rolls up <laughs> about 10 o'clock. <laughs> right, and we do have noise or ordinances mm -hmm. and things to be mindful of. Of course. Right. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions from the board? I'm just curious, uh, your seating capacity where you've been located, compared to where you're going into, how does it compare? Uh, so triple the size. Yeah. yeah. Um, I hold about 23 in East Rochester, and I believe uh, Penfield has 63 inside, plus the outside seating. Gotcha. And the name is staying the same, did I hear you say, carrying the same no. name, or did you? I'm changing to guacamole tacos and margaritas. Okay. And before, it was guacamole authentic Mexican taqueria. So I just added the tacos, part of the food, and then the margaritas, the bar. And so you won't have anything in the East Rochester location. This is a complete move for you. Yes. Great. Okay. All right. I'm sure East Rochester is disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Their loss can be our gain. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for selecting Penfield. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Uh, is anyone signed up to speak in the, or wants to speak in the audience? No one's signed up. Okay. Uh, do we have any calls or, okay, I don't see any calls. I don't see anything online. I have just a, a comment. So, I mean, it, it's great to see you expanding from the location on Commercial Street. And so, you know, I think all of us, of course, very much appreciate you choosing Penfield to do business. So I wanna just make sure as an immigrant owned uh, business, are there any other questions that you have in terms of the process? You seem to be very transparent and wanting to do things the right way. And I think the, the um, condition regarding the food truck might not have been expected for you. Are there any other questions or concerns you'd like to bring to the board now or other areas that you need to seek direction? No, I, I, everybody's been very supportive from Jim Costello and everybody here. Um, I'm just going with my checklist and excited to be here tonight. Um, you know, I started the process uh, around December. I know we had the holidays, but uh, we've been waiting for this day to come to keep moving forward with our checklist and uh, appreciate uh, the support and look forward to seeing you there. And, um, you know, I will consult with you if I do anything moving forward or you will find out, you know, I'll always check with the town and happy to support the town and the community as much as I can. Okay, so let's just talk about next steps for, for a moment. Uh, what will happen is now we've had a public hearing and then we will take this to our work session next week okay. and add that to our agenda. And you can certainly work with Carrie about the sign renderings and uh, the food truck, uh, just to answer any of those extra questions. And, and if we have any questions, we'll make sure we communicate that through Carrie as well. And then we'll be meeting a week from today right. on the 26th of January. Um, and we'll move along with the approval process. Actually, now that I remember, I just have one more question. <laughs> No, no, it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> I know the application for the liquor license came by. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that works. Yes. Um, I haven't done that. Actually, I haven't done a liquor license, but so I'll. I, um, sir, I have it uh, in my office waiting for the final decision to be made. Once the resolution is presented and approved, at that time we'll go forward with the liquor license waiver. Okay. Thank you. Right, so please make sure you utilize uh, Carrie Ivers and she can really help walk you through the next few days. Perfect. Okay. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Anything else? Okay, I think we are ready to close the public hearing then, correct? All right then. Okay, um, now we're gonna go back to communication and Thank announcements. Bye-bye. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Um, we did complete a certificate of recognition for 
Andrew, but I also have, uh, I also want to just mention a certificate of recognition to Jonathan Farnham, who um, I had the great privilege of attending his Eagle Scout ceremony on January 2nd. I think it was actually my first duty as, as a supervisor. So it was really uh, wonderful. Jonathan is one of three Eagle Scout in the family. All three boys have gotten, wow. achieved Eagle Scout rank. So I did want to mention it and read it off in recognition for attaining the rank of Eagle Scout to Jonathan Farnham from Troop 9, Seneca Waterways Council, Boy Scouts of America. For his Eagle project, he built three benches for three of the Genesee Land Trust Preserves, one for the Irene Gazin Nature Preserve, where he also removed over 20 trees to create a safe habitat for birds. And again, Jonathan's hard work and dedication is a shining example to those around him. The certificate is awarded in honor of his achievement to the rank of Eagle Scout, and it's acknowledged by all the board members and the supervisor. So I'm going to enter the, that into the record. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, I have two more announcements and then I will turn it over to the town clerk and the town board members. The first is to thank the Department of Public Works for all their efforts over the weekend, the holiday weekend, to keep the roads clean and passable. Thank you so, so much. Um, and um, we, your hard work is definitely appreciated. Um, I also want to announce that we are in the midst of recruiting for some open positions on some of our town boards and committees. We are we currently have openings on the Ethics Board, Historic Preservation Board, and Watershed Management. So if you are an interested resident, please send your resume and a letter of interest to supervisor at penfield.org. We will also post this beginning tomorrow on our website and social media if it's not there already, uh, but it will be up there tomorrow. And um, please try to submit your letter of interest and resume by February 2nd, okay? Any questions about that? Okay, uh, would the town clerk like to make any announcements? Sure, I'm going to um, mention once again that the Shepherd Home will be hosting a casino night fundraiser at Artisan Works at 565 Blossom Road on Friday, February 11th from 6 to 10. All proceeds will benefit the Shepherd Home. And for all, more information, please visit www.shepherdhome.org or contact me at 340-8629. Also on February 11th, the Penfield Public Library Foundation will hold a European Reds wine tasting fundraiser at Baytown Wine and Spirits from 6 6 to 7.30 p.m. This event can be attended in person or through Zoom. Those who Zoom will be, uh, will be able to pick up two bottles of the tasting wines curbside before the event. The cost is $50 per person, part of which will be tax deductible. Details are available on the Penfield Public Library Foundation Facebook page or by visiting penfieldlibraryfoundation.org. All proceeds and or donations will support the Penfield Library and help provide enhancements for the Penfield Library. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Ogenden. No announcements tonight. Okay, Councilperson Draw. I have one announcement. Um, and on behalf of a, a resident in Penfield um, contacted me um, regarding uh, her work with um, Alzheimer's support. Um, it's a free service that assists Penfield families who have loves, loved ones with Al Alzheimer's disease or dementia. Uh, through our search tool and database of Alzheimer's care facilities, family in need of care for their loved ones can locate licensed care homes and communities in the Penfield area that are best equipped to provide for their loved ones. And on the screen right now, you'll see um, some more details on that. Um, and I just wanted to I appreciate this resident uh, reached out to me and I wanna thank her. Um, so again, any information and you, you'll see on the screen, and there's a website. I don't know if that's on there yet. Uh, uh, at Penfield, I don't think it is on the screen, so I will, at the top. I'm sorry, it is on the Alzheimer's support, right, at the top. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Supervisor. Very welcome. Councilperson Cole. I have no announcements. Okay, 
Councilperson Lee. No, thank you. Okay, and I, I was reminded that we do have one more additional announcement. Um, just want to acknowledge that our former town supervisor, Tony LaFountain, was awarded the Daniel Penfield Award from the Penfield Business Chamber. He was awarded last Thursday, uh, the 13th, and I don't know if we have some pictures. Okay, there's the yeah. there's the visual. Um, it was a very nice ceremony. It was all virtual um, and um, very nice honor for his community, his service to the community. So great, thank you for the reminder. Um, and next we'll move to public participation. There are three ways to participate. You can participate in person. You can participate by calling in at 340-8771 or by contacting us at penfield.org. Do we have anyone waiting? I don't see anyone online or on the phone. Does the town clerk have any? No? no. Okay. No, nobody signed up. All right. So we will move on. There'll be another opportunity to address the board for public participation at the end of the meeting. Okay, um, are there any additions or deletions to the agenda? No, okay, seeing none. Uh, we'll move on to approval of minutes. You have the minutes of December 15th in front of you. May I have a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Okay, I have a motion by Councilperson Cole, second by Councilperson Lee. Are there any questions or comments about the minutes? Okay, roll call vote, please. Cinti? Aye. Draw? Aye. Cole? Aye. Lee? Aye. Akadin? Aye. Five ayes. Thank you. Um, it's time moving on to petitions. Does the town attorney or the town clerk or any of the town board members have any petitions they are in, in receipt of this evening? None. No, ma'am. Okay, seeing none, we will move on to resolutions by function. Starting with law and finance. Appointments to the planning board. So moved. Second. Be it resolved that Jim Burton be appointed to the Penfield planning board for a three-year term expiring December 31st, 2024 at an annual salary as established by the town board. Okay. Any comments by board members? No. Okay, that was moved by Councilperson Draw, seconded by Councilperson Cole. Mm -hmm. And a roll call vote, please. Cinti. Aye. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Ockaden. Aye. Five ayes. Appointment of chair to the planning board. And so be it resolved that Ellen we're gonna move it. Oh, so moved. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Second. So be it, so be it resolved that Alan Hetsky Jr. be appointed the chair of the planning board for the year 2022 at an annual salary as established by this town board. Thank you. Okay. Motion by Councilperson Draw, seconded by Board Member Lee. Any questions, comments? All right. Roll call vote. Cinti. Aye. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Akaden. Aye. Five eyes. Thank you. Appointment to Zoning Board of Appeals. So moved. Second. So be it resolved that Andres Sillins and Daniel D. DeLoss be appointed to the Zoning Board of Appeals for a three-year term expiring December 31st, 2024 at an annual salary as established by our town board. Motion by Councilperson Draw, seconded by Councilperson Ockenden. Any comments, questions? Seeing none. Cinti. Aye. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Akadin. Aye. Five ayes. Appointment of chair to the Zoning Board of Appeals. So be it resolved that Daniel oh, DeLoss. Right. Um, so moved. <laughs> I keep doing that. Sorry. <laughs> Who seconded? Second. Oh. Uh, so, uh, Go ahead. so <laughs> okay, be it resolved that Daniel DeLoss be appointed to chair of the Zoning Board of Appeals for the year 2022 at an annual salary established by this town board. I think Dan has been doing uh, this uh, chair of this for um, at least long time. a long, long time. He's doing a wonderful job, so thank you. Okay, um, motioned by Councilperson Draw, seconded by Councilperson Cole. Any questions, comments, revelations? All right. <laughs> Cindy. Aye. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Akadin. Aye. 
Five ayes. 2021 budget transfers. So moved. So where is the trans? Do I have oh. a second? Second. Sorry. Second. I can second that. Okay. Fine. So whereas the transfer of funds are necess necessary for the year-end reconciliations, uh, the town board desires to have an, a, d a date budget in relation to current income and expenditures. So be it resolved that the attached bu budget transfers be approved and they are um, total in the general fund for um, uh, approximately $39,216 and in the uh, pump station renovations, there's a, uh, in the total sewer fund, uh, $4,500. Thank you very much. Any comments? All right, we have a motion by Councilperson Draw, seconded by Councilperson Lee. Cinti. Aye. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Akadin. Aye. Five ayes. 2021 transfer of funds in highway to restricted fund balance. So moved. Second. So whereas projects completed for Monroe County and Penfield Central School District, as well as equipment sales, resulted in an increase in unanticipated revenue in the highway fund, and whereas these established reserve funds within the highway fund balance for future capital expenditures, um, now be it resolved that the following 2021 transfer be approved. From the highway assigned fund balance, uh, DA0-000-000-0902, for $800,000, to the highway restricted fund balance, uh, DA1-000-0000-8000, for $800,000. Thank you. All right, a motion by Councilperson Draw, seconded by Councilperson Ockenden. Any questions or comments? No. Cinti? Aye. Draw? Aye. Cole? Aye. Lee? I will abstain. Abstain. Ockenden? Aye. Four ayes, one abstention. Okay. Budget amendment for 2021 donations to Deer. So moved. Second. So where is the Recreation Department received the following donations specific to the DEER program at the end of 2021 to be for use in 2022, totaling $3,150. And as detailed, uh, they were for uh, Janine Beecher, $1,000, Lucy Liu, $1,000, Marsha Lewis, $1,000, and the Friends of PPL, $150, in memory of Diane Meyer. So the town board desires to have an up-to-date uh, budget in relation to current appropriations and revenues. So be it resolved that the following 2022 budget amendment be approved uh, for $3,150. Uh, in programs uh, for the aging uh, deer for $3,150. Okay. From revenue to appropriations, I'm sorry, thank you. No problem. Um, moved by Councilperson Draw, seconded by Councilperson Cole. Any comments? Okay. Cinti. Aye. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Ockaden. Aye. Five ayes. Thank Authorization you. for General Accounting Standards Board 75 update for the 2021 financial statements. So moved. May I have a second? That's, uh, I second. Oh, thank you. The Town of Penfield utilizes the professional services of a consultant to fulfill actual requirements of GASB, which is the General Accounting Standards Board 75 pertaining to post-employment benefits. And whereas Brown & Brown Consulting has the necessary personnel and expertise to, up to, date, to update the post-employment benefit information to meet the requirements of the GASB 75. And the Town of Penfield is required to record the post-retirement benefits in the annual financial statements. So be it resolved that the supervisor sign the agreement with Brown & Brown Consulting Services to complete these reports in compliance with the GASB 45 and 75 requirements not to exceed $3,900 for the preparation of the final initial report. Thank you. Okay, I have a motion by Councilperson Draw, seconded by Councilperson Lee. I do want to note that this is a required actuarial service, mm -hmm. so we're required to do this. Any other comments? All right. 
Okay, Cinti. Aye. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Ockaden. Aye. Five ayes. Authorization for release of a pond maintenance and inspection easement located at 1357 Jackson Road. So moved. Second. So whereas the owners of the property of 1357 Jackson Road have requested that the town of Penfield release the pond maintenance and inspection easement on their said property. The original drainage easement was recorded in the Monroe County Clerk's Office um, in the Liber 10205 of Deeds, page 349. And whereas the pond maintenance and inspection easement is no longer needed as a new easement has been filled that supersedes this early <coughs> easement as shown on the attached um, exhibit A. Uh, so therefore be it resolved that the town board of the town of Penfield hereby authorizes <coughs> the supervisor to sign a release of easement to permit a release of the existing pond maintenance and inspection <coughs> easement in the shown map um, for the ingress ingress, egress, utility and drainage easement for the Birch Crescent subdivision as per performed by the land tax surveying and planning dated on 10-27-2005. And be it further resolved that the release of the easement shall be in the town's format and shall be recorded at the Monroe County Clerk's Office with a certified copy of this resolution. All right, motion by Councilperson Draw, seconded by Councilperson Ockenden. Any comments? Okay, roll call. Cinti. Aye. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. I will, I, I understand. Uh, I, I will just note uh, for the record a, there appears to be a typo in the uh, resolution as drawn. The surveying and planning um, deed is not dated 2005 for the record. It is October 7th. 2004, if I'm reading this correctly. Can so you repeat that, that? October 7th? I, I am seeing that, that the date of record on the deed is 2004, so I defer, of course, to our town attorney, but to the extent that that needs to be revised for purposes of the resolution. Um, but aside from that, I, I um, vote aye. Thank you. Oh, I see where you see it up on top where you see it, 2000, September 12th, 2005. I see September 12th, 2005. Right, I no, see that too. Uh, I'm looking at the second page of the, uh, the, the easement description, the last paragraph referencing the land, te land tech drainage easement for the same lots of being 2004, so. We'll, we'll review it. Yeah, okay, okay great, great. Thank, thank you so much. Great. Otherwise, uh, no objection, thank you. Akadin. Aye. Okay, five eyes. Go ahead. Thanks. Just one moment, please. I just wanna note that the, the town attorney is going to review that just to make sure the data is accurate. Correct. Thank you. Okay. Authorization for release of a stormwater facility inspection easement SFIE-1 located at 500 Parker Hill Drive. So moved. <clears throat> Second. So the owners of the property of 500 Parker Hill Drive have requested that the town of Penfield release the stormwater facility inspection easement on their said property. The original stormwater facility easement was recorded in the Monroe County Clerk's Office um, and Lieber 12304 of deeds, page 0551. And the storm, whereas the stormwater inspection easement is no longer needed as a new easement has been filed that supersedes this earlier easement as shown in the attached exhibit A. And therefore, be it resolved that the town board of the town of Penfield hereby authorizes the supervisor to sign a release of easement to permit a release of the existing pond maintenance and inspection easement as shown on the map entitled easement plan for Semiotech at Panorama Park as per prepared by BME Associates dated 12-13-219. Uh, be it further resolved that the release of the easement shall be in the town's format and shall be recorded at the Monroe County Clerk's Office with a certified copy of this resolution. Thank you. Motion by Board Member Draw, seconded by Board Member Cole. Any questions, comments? Roll call vote. Cinti. Aye. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye, thank you. Akadin. Aye. Five ayes. Thank you. 
awarding a contract for the construction related to an expansion to the existing athletic fields at Rothfuss Park. So moved. Second. Uh, the Town of Penfield desires to construct three new rectangular athletic fields at Rothfuss Park in accordance with the Rothfuss Park Master Plan. And the Penfield Town Board adopted the concept master plan for the Rothfuss Park by resolution um, on June 5th, 2002. Whereas on March 16th, 2005, the Town Board approved phase one of the construction of the Park Master Plan. And whereas the con uh, construction of these additional fields is a continuation of the master plan, which was included in the overall master plan and therefore contemplated and considered under and in the previous seeker review. Sealed proposals were sought and duly advertised for the project as outlined within the plans and specifications on file with the Penfield Town Clerk. On Friday, November 5th, 2021 at 11 a.m., uh, the following sealed proposals for the said project were received, open and read publicly by the town clerk. And there are attachments um, uh, to this. The bid uh, submitted by Pooler Enterprises was evaluated and found to be the lowest responsible and responsive bidder for the specified improvements and has met the town's bidding requirements for this project. So therefore, be it resolved, uh, that the contract for the above project and hereby is awarded to Pooler Enterprises for the total amount not to exceed $334,945. And so be it further resolved that the said award is subject to submissive uh, submission and approval of appropriate bonds and insurance at which time the contractor is given notice to proceed with this contract. Thank you. Moved by board member Draw, seconded by Councilperson Lee. I do want to note for the record that we did discuss this yes. at our previous work session, and this is the, the continuation of that process. Mm -hmm. Any other comments? Okay. Cinti. Aye. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Ockaden. Aye. Five eyes. Authorization for town supervisor to sign a professional service contract with ATIP Control Inc. for a pond treatment program. So moved. Second. So whereas the town of Penfield saw quotes for professional pond treatment services to obtain the necessary permits from both the uh, United States Army Corps and, uh, and New, York State, New York State DEC and, and the complete various treatments for f five pond locations within the town of Penfield. The quotes were sought and ATIP Control Incorporated was the lowest bidder. The board discussed extending this program as at its January 12, 2022 uh, work session and decided to continue with these treatments. Um, be it resolved that ATIP at 5681 Zerfass Road in Dansville, New York, is awarded a contract to provide pro professional services for pond treatment projects within the town of Penfield. So be it further resolved that the supervisor is authorized to sign this contract with ATIP Control Incorporated for professional services not to exceed $23,100. Thank you. Thank you. Motioned by Councilperson Draw, seconded by Councilperson Ockenden. Any comments? Again, okay. we talked about this. Yes, we did. And and it's referenced right in the, in the, in the resolution. resolution. Thank you. Thank you. Cinti. Aye. Draw. Aye. Call. Aye. Lee. Aye. Ockaden. Aye. Five eyes. Setting a public hearing to consider adopting local law number one of 2022 to provide a tax exemption for volunteer fire and ambulance workers. So moved. Second. So the town board of the town of Penfield wishes to consider adopting a proposed local law number one of 2022, which would provide a tax exemption for volunteer fire and ambulance workers. And whereas the Penfield town board is best suited to act as the lead agency within the meaning of the st a state environmental quality review act seeker, and thus does hereby designate itself as the lead agency pursuant to seeker. And whereas the subject application is determined to be a type two action pursuant to the state environmental Environmental Quality Review Act of Seeker. So now, therefore, be it resolved that the town board of the said town of Penfield shall hold a public hearing at the Penfield Town Hall, 3100 Atlantic Avenue, on February 16th, 2022, at 7 p.m. on the said date, to consider the said proposal and to hear all persons interested in the question of the adoption of Local Law 1 of 2022, which would provide a tax exemption for volunteer fire and ambulance workers as authorized by the New York Real Property Tax Law Section 
dash K. A copy of the said law is attached and made part hereof in section A, I'm sorry, schedule A, and be it further resolved that the town clerk, being she is hereby, is directed to publish and post a notice of the public hearing on the official sign board of the town in the manner prescribed by law. The first publication, therefore, not to be less than five days and not more than 30 days before this date set for the said public hearing. Thank you. Motioned by Councilperson Draw, seconded by Councilperson Cole. Comments? Questions? I have a question as to the threshold for eligibility. Is there a minimum requirement uh, for the hours logged by the volunteer personnel? Hmm. Wasn't there a two year eligibility? It's, I believe yes. it's two years. Two year eligibility, but is that two years part time, two years full time? Or I, I mean, what's the, uh, is there a threshold limit at all in terms of the, the weekly volunteer hours? Well, I, I would have to check with the, uh, you know, the labor loss with, you know, part-time, and uh, I think it's 20. 20 hours, yeah. I believe. Okay. I believe. Right, and we'll be getting supplemental information prior to the public hearing as well. Okay. 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 Yeah, there's just at the public hearing. So moved by Councilperson Draw, seconded by Councilperson Cole. Um, we want to call the roll. Cindy. Aye. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Akadin. Abstain. <clears throat> Four ayes, one abstained. Thank you. Setting an informal discussion meeting for an incentive zoning proposal at 41 Woodhaven Drive. So moved. Second, thank you. Um, so whereas John Antetomaso is acting as agent for K2 Brothers Brewing, requests an informal discussion with the town board regarding the possible construction of an ancillary parking area in a portion of 41 Woodhaven Drive to support the K2 Brothers Brewing operation located at uh, 1211 um, Empire Boulevard. The property um, is zoned reg residential, um, I, I, 120. Um, therefore, be it resolved that the town board of the said town of Penfield shall hold an informal discussion at the Penfield Town Hall um, on February 16th, 2022 at 7 p.m. on the said date to consider the conceptual plan and to hear all persons interested on the question of the possible construction of an ancillary parking lot um, on, a, a, on at 41 Woodhaven Drive and be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution is certified by the town clerk, so shall be published at least once in the official newspaper of the town and the first publication therefore not not to be less than 10 or more than 20 days before the date set for the hearing. Um, a copy of this resolution should be posted on the official sign board of, of the town as prescribed by law. Thank you. I have a motion by Councilperson Draw, seconded by Councilperson Lee. Any questions? Roll call. Cinti? Aye. Draw? Aye. Cole? Aye. Lee? Aye. Akadin? Aye. Five ayes. Setting at a public hearing for an amendment to the zoning ordinance and map to consider rezoning of 1177 and 1179 Bay Road. Uh, so from, I'm sorry, from residential 120 to multi-residential. So moved. Second. So an application has been received by the Penfield Town Board pursuant to chapter 250-15.1 uh, of the code to amend a zoning ordinance and map to rezone 1177 and 1179 Bay Road from residential um, to multi-residential. So therefore, um, be it resolved that the town, Penfield Town Board is best suited to act as a lead agency within the meaning of the State Environmental Quality Review Act, Seeker, and thus does hereby designate itself as a lead agency pursuant to Seeker. So the subject uh, application is determined to be an unlisted action pursuant to the State Environmental Quality Review Act, uh, Seeker, and be it further resolved that the town board of the said town of Penfield 
shall hold a public hearing at the Penfield Town Hall on 3100 Atlantic Avenue on March 2nd, 2022 at 7 p.m. on the said date to consider the said application and to hear all persons interested uh, in the questions of amending the zoning ordinance to rezone 1177 and 1179 Bay Road from residential to multi-residential as uh, particularly described in Schedule A, attached here and made a part hereof, and be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution is certified by the town clerk, shall be published at least once in the official newspaper of the town, and the first publication shall be not less than 10 days or not more than 20 days before the date set for the hearing. Um, a, um, a copy of this resolution should be posted on the official sign board of the town as prescribed by law. Thank, Thank you. you, Councilperson Draw has made a motion, seconded by Councilperson Ockenden. Questions, comments? Roll call vote. Cinti. Aye. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Ockenden. Aye. Five ayes. Oh. Setting a public hearing for a special permit to allow a microbrewery with tap room at 1880 Blossom Road. So moved. Second. So whereas an application has been received by the Penfield Town Board for the issuance of a special permit pursuant to Chapter 250-6.2-1 of the code to allow the conversion of the Daisy Flour Mill from a banquet and a catering facility to a microbrewery with a tap room at 1880 Blossom Road located in the R120 zoning district. Uh, now, therefore, be it resolved that the Penfield Town Board is best suited to act as a lead agency within the meaning of the State Environmental Quality Review Act, which is SEEKER, and thus does hereby designate itself as a lead agency per pursuant to SEEKER. Uh, the subject application is determined to be a Type 2 action pursuant to the Section 617.5 uh, C25 of the State Environmental Quality Review Act and be it further resolved that the town board of the said town of Penfield shall hold a public hearing at the Penfield Town Hall, 3100 Atlantic Avenue, on February 16th, 2022, at 7 p.m. on the said date, to consider this application and to hear all persons interested in the question of the issuance of a special permit to allow the conversion of the Daisy Flower Mill Banquet and Catering Facility to a microbrewery with a tap room at 1880 Blossom Road. Uh, be it resolved that a copy of this resolution certified by the town clerk should be published at least once in the official newspaper of the town and the first publication there, uh, thereof to be not less than 10 or no more than 20 days before the date set for the public hearing. Uh, a copy of this uh, resolution should be posted on the official sign board of the town as prescribed by law. Thank you, motion by Councilperson Draw, seconded by Board Member Cole. Are any seeing no comments or questions? I'll no. ask for a roll call vote. Cindy. Aye. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Akadim. Aye. Five ayes. <clears throat> Thank you. Completing law and finance resolutions, we will move on to public works. Appointment to Historic Preservation Board. So moved. Second. Be resolved that Donald Crum be appointed to the Historic Preservation Board for a term expiring December 31st, 2026 at an annual salary as established by the town board. I have a motion by Councilperson Lee, seconded by Board Member Ockenden. Any questions, comments? Roll call. Cinti. Aye. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Ockenden. Aye. Five ayes. <coughs> Appointment of Chair to Historic Preservation Board. So moved. Second. Be it resolved that Thomas J. Combs be appointed chair of the Historic Preservation Board for the year 2022 at an annual salary as established by the town board. I have a motion by Board Member Lee, seconded by Board Member Draw. Any comments or questions? Okay, roll call vote. Cinti. Aye. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Ockenden. Aye. Five ayes. Appointments to Watershed Management Committee. So moved. Second. Whereas the town of Penfield has established a watershed management committee to identify maintenance needs and erosion issues for its network of open water courses. And now therefore be it resolved that the following persons be appointed to this committee for a term expiring December 31st, 2022. Mark Valentine as chair of town of Penfield Engineering, as well as Mike O'Connor, same department, 
Eric Tate, Bob Moore, Tim Masterston of Town of Penfield, DPW, Edward Freeman, Michael Guyon, Mike Simon, and Al Brocolo. I have a motion by Councilperson Lee, seconded by Councilperson Cole. Any questions or comments? Okay. Cindy. Aye. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Akadin. Aye. Five ayes. Thank you. We'll move on to the public safety resolutions. Appointments to the Transportation Committee. So moved. Second. Be it hereby resolved that the following be appointed to the Penfield Transportation Committee to be chaired by Councilperson Debbie Draw for a term to expire December 31st, 2022. Lori Enos, Monroe County Sheriff's Department, Sarah Waterman and Mark Valentine, Town of Penfield Engineering Department, Eric Tate, Town of Penfield Department of Public Works, Tim Freeler, Dan McCusker, New York State Department of Transportation, Mary Sweeney, and Jason Ebbs. Thank you. I have a motion from Councilperson Ockenden and seconded by Councilperson Draw. Any comments? Okay. Cinti. Aye. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Ockenden. Aye. Five ayes. Appointment of Local History Room Advisory Committee. So moved. Second. It resolves the following be appointed to the Local History Room Advisory Committee for a one-year term expiring December 31st, 2022. Jan Brayman, Tom Cannelly, Diane Dayton Riley, Jay Thompson, and Lynn Harris. <coughs> Thank you. Motion from Councilperson Cole, seconded by Councilperson Lee. Any comments or questions? Seeing none, have a roll call vote. Cinti. Aye. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Ockaden. Aye. Five ayes. Appointments to the Trail Committee. So moved. Second. Be it resolved that the following be appointed to the Penfield Trails Committee per agreement with the Recreation Director for a term ending December 31st, 2022. Chairman Nels Carmen and members Bum and Saldi, Terry Bruce, Francie Opa, Eleanor Hartquist, Edlin Skoog, Aileen Rice, Denny Tripp, and from the town of Penfield staff, Tim Masterson, Andrew Erkwitz, and Supervisor Marie Thank you. Motion by Councilperson Cole and seconded by Board Member Ockenden. Any questions or comments? Roll call vote. Cinti. Aye. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Ockaden. Aye. Five ayes. Authorization for supervisor to sign recreation contracts. So moved. Second. This authorizes the town supervisor to sign 12 recreation contracts, and they're all contracts um, for recreation programs that are taking place at the beginning of this year. Okay. Um, our, is everyone comfortable with just summarizing that rather than reading off every single person with their address on it? I've never read them all. Yeah, okay. <laughs> People want to see what they are, they can, they can. Right. All available. That's fine. Um, motion by Councilperson Cole, seconded by Councilperson Draw. Okay, any comments or questions? Okay. Cinti. Aye. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Akinen. Aye. Five ayes. Thank you, board members. Uh, we will move to any old business before the board. Seeing none, any new business. And we're coming to our second part public participation comment period. If you would like to address the town board, um, you can do so in person. You can do so by calling 340-8771 or by reaching us online at www.penfield.org. I am not seeing anything online. Let me just check the phone. And seeing no phone calls, I do not see anyone in the audience. Okay. Well, then that will conclude our public participation section. Um, there will not be an executive session this evening. Our next meeting will be February 2nd, 2022. That's our next legislative session. Um, and I would stand to adjourn this meeting at 8.15. May I have a motion? So um, I'm sorry, Supervisor Cinti, uh, that clock is incorrect. Oh. The cell phone says 8.07. Wow, I just found eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm, Excellent. I'll make a motion and we move. <laughs> <laughs> 8.07.
<laughs> Move back time. <laughs> Excellent. Any second? Second. I'll give it to Councilperson Lee. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Excellent. Thank you very much. And thank you to everyone at PCTV for all your help. Take care.